This is Josh White with JW Math Tutoring. Are you looking for over 350 digital SAT math self-reported official test problems, including the hardest problems that you see at the end of the second module? And would you like the ability to sort and filter them by topic? Then go ahead and watch the rest of this video. But life is a dream the calculus could never predict. This is Josh White with JW Math Tutoring. I have some excellent news to share with you. So, if you uh, are watching this video, then you are most likely aware of my YouTube channel and specifically aware of the Digital SAT Math official uh, problem set uh, solutions that I create after each official test date from self reported questions. Okay, goes back to May uh, 2024 of last year, and then you can see for every month there are usually two or three or sometimes even four different videos and worksheets documenting self-reported uh, problems that appeared on official SAT math exams. Okay, the uh, fantastic news that I have to share with you is the following. So I had always been tracking uh, these questions informally in an Excel spreadsheet. However, I took the time to go through and actually um, update the spreadsheet and make it a lot more detailed. And so as a result, I now have an entire document which has um, for every single question, you know, the main topic, uh, the subtopic, uh, general description of it and then also I have a column here that says repeat and this basically has a value in it if an identical type question has appeared before okay so you can see here it starts you know over here we have the year 2024 month of May worksheet number one problems 1 through 10 I'm oh, sorry 1 through 11 and then next you know you have June Worksheet number one, there's only one worksheet for those first two ones. And then once I got into August 2024, you know, you can see uh, there are three worksheets, technically a fourth one with two, you know, extra problems. But you can see examples here of the main topics, which are supposed to be the kind of the broad, uh, the more broad uh, topic areas. And then also you have the subtopics underneath them. So the great part about this is you will be able to sort and filter. So, for example, you can go here, the main topic, say you want to work on 3D figures, right? And then you can look under the subtopics here. We have area factor, we have cones, we have cylinders, we have, uh, you know, rectangular prisms, we have similar figure type problems, you know, we have stuff with uh, volume, things with density, so on and so forth. So you can sort or filter uh, by specific topics if you're looking for, you know, certain types of problems. Now, also, uh, the thing that's going to be really useful is the repeat thing here. So if you find a specific problem that you uh, had difficulty with or want more practice on, right? So if you look in the Excel spreadsheet here and see, okay, is there an example of this in the repeat column? So for example, I'm going to look at this June 24, Worksheet 119. It's a percentage problem where you're you know, finding the value of a constant. So, I believe it was this one right here. Okay, okay. And now you can see all the other similar examples of these percentage problems where it's like A is equal to whatever percent of B and B is equal to whatever percent of C. What A is what percent of C or, you know, so on and so forth. Um, and there's going to be slight differences among them, but you can see these are the general, the same types of problems. So, every problem that is identical will have in the repeat column space um, the month basically it's like first three uh, characters for the month the year then a period then the worksheet number and then the problem number okay so this is June 2024 worksheet 1 problem 19 and that can help you find quickly and easily find uh, additional problems that are identical to one that you are looking at. And so again, just to look at this real quick, you know, you're scrolling down here. Okay, here we're into 2025, right? So this problem, identical to one from December of 2024, worksheet two, problem number four. Okay, so 
not only um, do you have this, will, will there be a link to this Excel file that you'll be able to download and again sort and filter, but also there will be a PDF file that's got all the problems on here. Again, it doesn't have any answers, just has the problems themselves um, and all the information that I've been going over. However, I also went through and tried to add um, a lot a little bit more uh, in the description column for some. I mean, some it almost pretty much has the full problem. Others, just because of the length of them or because they require a picture, you know, it's not going to have that. You're obviously going to need to look at the worksheet. But if you skim through them, you can get a general idea for what some of them represent. So, um, I hope uh, that you find this useful. Again, there'll be links in the uh, PDF description. Uh, sorry, there'll be links to the PDF file and the Excel file, both in the description of the video and also in the pin, in a pinned comment on the video. And in the meantime, uh, obviously, check out all the problems I have on this, uh, you know, Digital SAT Math Official Test Solutions um, problem set. The November ones from the November 2025 test uh, should be posted within probably, hopefully within the next week or so. Um, otherwise, you have any questions or comments, uh, please feel free to leave them um, below on the video. And good luck studying for the digital SAT math section.